yet. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to take you through a few productive days in my life and it's going to be all about travel prep because I'm going to be in Korea. I need to do some last minute shopping. I need to pack. I still need to book Airbnbs and flights and different bank appointments and I leave for my trip in less than a week. So let's get it together. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is 5.22 a.m. and we're going to get a new passport. Honestly, we're, I don't even think we're going to be able to get inside for well, should we hours. start driving? <laughs> Look at the Felicia. It's like a mountain. It like moves on its own. No, you don't move on its own. Your chin. And you know where the pimple is on your chin. Anyways, um, we're gonna get coffee. Mm. We just finished at the passport office and it only took six hours six when we were hours. expecting it to take like 12. I woke up I at four in the morning. I picked her up by five and then we got here by six and then out by 11.30. So not even a full six hours, but that does not happen. We came back out and all of the people that were in line behind us got sent away. Probably like a hundred. Oh my god, probably more. Two or three hundred people. Yeah, that was crazy. That was actually really sucky. And <laughs> now we have to pick it up in a few hours. Same day delivery. Amazon could literally never. Yeah, bro, three hour delivery. I mean, you do only pay like 60 bucks per month for a Prime <laughs> membership and you pay 300, so it's a little different. <laughs> So a week ago-ish, you guys saw me get my new passport. I'm gonna flash this so quick, but I look so terrible. We're not gonna talk about it. It took me six hours in total to get it, but it took up the entire day and I had to pay $270. But this is done now, I can actually leave the country. The next thing that I had to do is figure out all my like travel visas and stuff like that. Like how I'm gonna be able to buy things in Korea and Australia with the least amount of fees. And I settled on cash for like the first few days that I'm in either country. I also had to book two different Airbnbs in Korea because I ended up extending my trip like three or four days. And I also still have haven't booked a flight for Australia and my return flight home so I have no idea what the prices are looking like right now and I actually bought a completely new camera setup I got a new camera and lens and mic and everything so I'm gonna unbox it later I actually haven't opened it at all I still haven't had the time to like set it up and figure out all my settings and not to mention I haven't packed so we need to seriously fix that in the next few days and yeah I'm debating between these ones or gingham print I'm gonna get this kitten heel, the loafer. I wish they had gold hardware, but I'll just settle for silver for now. Okay, these are the ones that I'm gonna have to end up going with. Can yeah, I get a Dr. Jart mask? Oh my god, these are also important. Okay, I got my luggages in from Monos and I'm gonna unbox these. So now I can actually start packing. I'm also back from the mall as you guys saw and I'm gonna give you a quick haul of everything I got. First off, I just got a set from La Vion Rose. I got a pajama set, super soft and breathable because I know it's really humid in Korea right now. Then I went to Sephora to get a refill of two of my favorite products and also a Dr. Dart mask for the 14 hour flight. Then I went to Urban Outfitters to get a replacement dress. This is what I ordered and this is what they sent me and it's too late to get the actual dress that I want. So I'm setting for this like eyelid baby doll dress and lastly i wanted kitten heels and loafers i couldn't find loafers today i feel like this is a very korean style the heel it's like very simple can be dressed up and dressed down so while i was out i got another package from urban outfitters and it's kind of just like this crochet like shawl and now it is time to actually get packing in these luggages oh my god it's so cute this is the carry-on pro and now i have the check-in large in the same color which is rose quartz And Mono's luggages have TSA approved locks, so I'm not worried about travel with this at all. Looks like this. And it like compresses it down. There's like another compartment here. It comes with like a bunch of like smaller bags like to actually help you pack. Oh, this is a check bag. The space here. Again, it comes with different bags to pack your stuff.
I just want to pop in here quickly to give a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you didn't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Squarespace has a lot of great features like the mailing list, blogging and commenting features, and the ability to have online stores. So you can collect email addresses from the website and just send out the information that they're looking for. I also think the blogging and commenting feature is really useful. It's a great way to create a tight-knit community and just nice to have that type of interaction. And lastly, having an online store within your website is perfect for people who sell merch. That's something that I haven't done yet, but not one that I haven't thought about. So I like that Squarespace just gives me this option. Stand out with a beautiful website and engage with your audience and sell anything at your products, content, and even your time. So you guys should head to squarespace.com for a free trial and also go to squarespace.com slash Brianna for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi guys, I'm leaving for Korea in about 24 hours. It's 1.12 on July 17th right now and I leave tomorrow at 1.45 and I am still not 100% packed. I have to get a bunch of travel essentials like Advil, lactose pills, shampoo, conditioner, and toothpaste just like in travel sizes so I can take it in my carry-on because the odds of me losing my checked bag are very high. So my checked bag is actually almost half empty. I'll show you guys back at home when I repack everything because I'm just gonna try and condense everything even more. Right now, it's like a mess. I need toothpaste. I'm not gonna bring my actual toothbrush. That Lysol, lactate, because I'm lactose intolerant. I also need a pair of tweezers. I also need a refill of my favorite pimple cream. I swear these are the exact same formula. I kinda really want these. So now I'm in the travel sections of Shoppers Drug Mart because Walmart didn't have like all like the medications and stuff. Like I want baby Advil. And I was also looking for a little tongues. Oh my gosh, show. I was looking for a baby native. I don't know, I just found a little travel size. So this is just a pile of rolled up clothes because that is what I'm going to do to like save the most space. I'm trying to fit as many outfits as I can into the carry-on because this is never gonna leave me and the odds of it getting lost are pretty low, hopefully. I am gonna be taking five different flights in the next four weeks, so it actually could get lost. This is my makeup bag with products that aren't liquid because for my airline, and I'm pretty sure it's the standard everywhere, all your liquids have to be 100 milliliters and fit in a one liter bag. As you can see, it's already pretty full and you guys just saw me buy a bunch of other travel essentials that need to be in here like toothpaste and makeup remover but anyways right now i'm finishing up last touches these are my makeup brushes that i just cleaned yesterday they're dry now so basically the suitcase is going to be my capsule wardrobe for like the next month so i have a lot of basic tops that can go with different cover-ups like cardigans and button-ups and then some dresses and then of course i have like staple bottoms jeans and like black dress pants i'm just gonna try to fit everything into the suitcase these are my favorite pair of jeans and they take up so much space it's like physically painting me this is a dress that i've worn also cardigans literally this can't get any smaller This spot has to fit my makeup bag. Yeah, it fits. Oh, my shorts. Okay, honestly, I have two separate skirts. heels wrapped already. I am going to be bringing my dunks with me and I just have like pairs of socks stuffed into them to save room and then also just like to help prevent the creasing. Rolling this cover up might take up too much space. So in here I just have like bottoms and like a bathing suit and then I have like a tiny box of some jewelry. And then my liquids. Here, hold on. I have toothpaste, I have a refill of pimple cream, I have a CRD cleanser, lactate pills, and liquid gels. I don't know where this is supposed to go though, but these are creams that have to go toothpaste. Okay, this is my 100 ml bag, and I have to fit these two things in here. Squeeze that in here. Okay, toothpaste is an essential, so that has to go in too. Oh my god, look, it's gonna fit. <gasps> Wait, guys, this might actually all fit. Will it? Please. 
Oh my gosh, guys. It, I actually just got this to zip. I have a full-size lip sleeping mask. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Pharmacy Beauty Honey Moon Glow. The Body Shop Aloe Soothing Night Cream. Shiseido Sunscreen. Clean and Clear Benzoyl Peroxide. Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. I have one vial of Scentbird Perfume. I have a whole makeup cleansing balm by Skin and Lab. A travel size CeraVe cleanser. I have two concealers. One from Fenty and one from Rare Beauty. And then just one Benefit Professional Primer. That is everything in this bag. Oh my gosh. I have some Lysol wipes for on the go. Band-Aids, because as you guys can see, I am pretty clumsy. And now for the moment of truth. This thing is gonna even close. Okay, everybody place your bets now. Is it gonna close easily? Because I think it will. Wait. Okay, this is fine. We can totally squeeze. <laughs> I just ordered a new SD card for my new camera and a two terabyte hard drive. So this is the new camera that I bought and I bought just the body because I wanted a specific lens. This is a 16 to 50 millimeter. I've literally had this sitting on the floor for the last like week. So let's open it. So this is the Sony a7C. It's one of the smallest full frame cameras. And this is the new camera. And this is the lens that I bought. So I am going to be vlogging with this tomorrow. So I'm going to assemble it. This camera is quite literally the biggest investment I've ever made into my channel. So that's kind of the reason why I didn't open it for a week. I wasn't really sold on the idea of like such an expensive camera. But I did just want to up my game a little bit. And I've been really wanting to shoot in 4K. So this is the new camera. So I'm not just traveling with one laptop. I'm actually traveling with two. So it takes up like the back of my bag. I'm going to have to fit both of these in here as well. Okay, this is what we have so far. And this bag also has to fit in here somehow. And that is the end of the video. Video. thank you guys so much for watching i completely forgot to film an outro but the next time i see you i'll be on the way to korea so stay tuned for those vlogs bye